Yes, I keep making changes to the navbar. Will I ever be satisfied? This is day 14 of coding a Pomodoro time wrap with my own twist. Yesterday, I added more to the puzzle and fixed some UI. Today, I decided I want to make more UI changes because the way it looks right now is just not it. So I asked ChatGPT how I can improve my UI and UX as a designer and this is what it gave me. It looks miles ahead of mine and so I decided to use it as a guide for my UI overhaul. I started with this gradient background because that is honestly what looked the best to me. It took a bit of trial and error to get the configuration I want but it's pretty much the base color it is right now with a darker version of it it combined. After that, it was just a matter of making the backgrounds for the other modes as well, and if you can tell, it's already looking so much better. The next thing I worked on was adding the drop shadow and border to the divs, such as the timer and the nav bar. This gives it a cleaner look now that the background is a gradient. I also added it to the text to make it more aligned to the other elements. After that, I worked on changing the hovers to the buttons on the nav bar. Yes, I keep making changes to the nav bar. Will I ever be satisfied? I made it so that when the user hovers the nav bar options, it has this smooth animation. I added it to the timer function buttons as well. After adding this, I felt kind of cool because it's much better than what it was yesterday. The last part of today's UI overhaul was fixing the reward modal. I pretty much added all the changes I did to the nav bar and the time box. I also added an X icon to the close button and made the input field much better. I still think that it could use some improvement but overall it looks so much better now and I gotta say this was quite rewarding. That's it for today and tomorrow I plan on making another UI change for the claim reward button. As usual if you enjoyed please leave a like and follow for part 15.